Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Stocks with upward momentum is what we're talking about now with Mike Vodica, our momentum stock analyst, strategist, analyst. He's in a class all by himself, actually. There we <laughs> go. Two titles. <laughs> He's with Zacks.com and uh, does a lot of strategizing and analyzing, both at the same time, right? Lincoln Educational Services is one momentum stock you wrote about recently. L, uh, what is that? L I N C, the ticker symbol? Yes, it is. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, this is a private educational provider, um, and this space has been very hot lately, and it's kind of a tie-in to what we're seeing happening with the economy, where uh, people want to go back to school, build their resume, increase their skills, so it's kind of a play on that trend. Um, Lincoln, in and of itself, they provide a number of different um, different, different programs, uh, health sciences, auto technology, skilled trades, business and IT information technology courses. They really kind of cover the whole gamut from A to Z. Mm -hmm. Um, We've got about 30,000 enrollees right now, market cap of $730 million. So not a huge company, but they do, however, have 43 campuses across 17 states. So they have a pretty strong geographic presence. Right. Um, Now, we saw these trends show up in their most recent quarterly reports. Uh, Their fourth quarter came out in early March, and we really saw some unbelievable growth from Lincoln. Um, Their sales growth was 47% year over year. It's a great number. Um, Earnings per share came in at 82 cents, and that was 17% uh, better than the Zach's consensus estimates. They had a nice beat. Um, They've been doing this uh, for the last four quarters. Their average beat's 134%, so you can see they really do have some nice momentum right now. the, driving the results, they saw a really a really nice spike in their enrollments. Uh, student student starts, as they call them, were up 32 percent year over year. So that shows a lot of they've got a lot of new students coming and signing up for classes, taking courses, um, and they also kind of did themselves a favor by getting real serious on their expense expenses management. Um, they were able to drive their expenses down 3.5 percent to 40 percent of revenue from last year. So they're kind of hitting on both sides: revenue growth and expense management. Um, one kind of caveat to mention is that some of these private educational providers are experiencing an uptick in their bad loans. Uh, we saw that happen in Lincoln here. Um, sure, these students can't get jobs to support paying back the loan. That's exactly right. So yeah. It's almost like kind of a double-edged sword. What's driving their sales is also kind of chipping away at them. But it's not, uh, it's not an explosive problem. It's going to rock the company. They're, they're, they are, they're building up their uh, reserve losses here. So they've got a little bit of insulation against, against it. But it is something to be aware of from an investment perspective. All right, show me the money. Uh, moving on to the last piece of the puzzle uh, is the chart here. And we've seen shares uh, recently surge higher right off of the quarter. Um, the stock had been pressuring this key area at 24 since August of 2009. It had tested it a number of times, was unable to push through. Uh, the quarter came in so great, surged higher, hit a new 52-week high, and we're right at about $28 right now. All right. And recently you also wrote about Sotheby's, B-I-D, the ticker symbol. These are the uh, high-end auction folks. Yes, they are. Kind of an interesting business and definitely has a very strong tie into uh, the strength or weakness of the global economy. And South B's business really took a hit in 2000, or, you know, late 2008, 2009, when um, you know, a lot of people thought basically you know, the world was going straight down the tubes and everybody's money was going to fly away. But as we've seen the global economy recover, you know, asset prices going up, stock prices going up, some stability in the real estate market, you know, the, the wealthy people of the world have started to feel a little more secure again. You know, maybe I can go out and spend $500,000 for a piece of art or a million dollars on some jewelry. All right, let's get to the, the facts here. Um, the company has been around since actually 1744, if you can believe that. Uh, market cap of 1.95 billion, so it's a pretty sizable company, and they specialize in auctioning, um, you know, fine art, jewelry, and collectibles, things of this nature. Now, when they reported their fourth quarter results in early March, we definitely saw uh, the the rebound in the economy come through in their results. Uh, revenue was up 31 percent from last year, nice revenue gain, and they had a really great earnings beat of $1.10 per share, and that was 64 percent better than the Zach's consensus estimate. Uh, driving the results, they saw what's something they call auction commission margin. Basically, it's a margin metric. Uh, they saw a nice uptick in that to 20 percent of, of the revenue. Um, again, expense management helping drive the earnings. We're seeing this uh, from lots of companies right now. 
Um, they actually amazingly were able to drive their expenses down 28% from last year, which translates into savings of $47.5 million. So huge cost savings there. Mm -hmm. Uh, their CEO sounds optimistic on the business. He, he said that they've seen the momentum that they generated in late 2000 and started to carry over into 2010. So that's good. Um, and then we've seen a nice estimate revisions recently too. However, the valuation picture does look a little rich right now, trading at 32 times. But uh, you can't deny uh, you know, that they really do have some nice upward momentum right now. Shares have been pressuring the $25 level, recently broke through, and topped off a new 52-week high at 31.80. So yeah, when I strong. die, I'm just going to give everything to them to have it auctioned <laughs> off. Whether anybody will buy it is another story, of course. Do you own either of these two? Uh, no, I don't. All right, check out more Zach's Rank Buy Stock. Pick ideas on our homepage at Zax.com. We put four new ones up there each business day for your consideration. With Mike Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.